Hey guys, welcome to the video, and yes, I do sound a little bit different, a little bit gruff. Uh, I've had a bit of a throat infection recently, along with a bit of a cough, so that's why the videos have been very, 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 very delayed recently, other than the VR video, which was obviously before I was ill. I got that up recently, but today, it's all about They Are Billions, and I'm going to try and make it through a video, if my voice holds out for this. So guys, They Are Billions, what is it about? Well, as you can see by this sort of intro screen area on the main menu, it's all about surviving waves of zombies. And I mean a lot of zombies. Uh, the game uses its own engine, I believe. Uh, I hope I'm right. I believe it does. And it's allegedly got up to 20,000 zombies on screen at once with this cool sort of uh, cell shading animation going on with a sort of a, a steampunk feel. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the game. I'm just going to call the game save game and then explain a little bit more before we jump in. Just so you guys know if you are not aware. The game has many, many different modes. I'm going to start on the first map. You can have lengths of time to build up. So 80 days being the shortest amount of time you can play around for. Obviously not 80 real days. That's about an hour or two real lifetime. So we're going to go on accessible. And we're going to go on easy, very low population, just so I can show you what the game is about without getting steamrolled straight away. Because the game is very hard, guys. Very, very hard. There's a, a little bit to learn about how you should proceed. And like I said, it's, it's very hard. And it's annoying to have to use the comparison all the time, but it is pretty much the Dark Souls of base defense RTS sort of strategy games. It really is. So, here we go. Now, you can pause the game. So, while it is real-time strategy, you can actually pause the game and then, you know, do what you will. Work out where you want to place units. If something's about to go tits up, you can pause it and have a think, see if you can get out of the situation. So, right now, this is our main base of operations. You lose this, it's game over, man. Game over! Oh god, my voice. My voice is so bad. Am I gonna make it through this? We'll probably have to cut and jump through the video anyway, because I say the rounds can last anywhere up to like three hours, so... I don't think anyone wants to see a three hour video, and I certainly couldn't do that right now. If you want to see a three hour video, do let me know. But anyway, I digress. Uh, straight away, actually, we can move the soldiers we start off with. Uh, the first soldier being... <laughs> we'll just name Soldier. He's armored. Heavy armored. With a machine gun, so he lasts a bit longer than the archers, but he's a little bit slower. So I'm just going to pick up these bonuses that are just lying around, as you do. I'm going to move an archer down this way. Reveal what's behind the fog of war. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Maybe over here where there's more contrast. The units have a field of view. So even if you uncover something, you technically can't see it. Unless you've got like a radar tower or something like that. Or a unit that can see pretty damn far. So what I'm going to do is move a couple of units down here. So in tandem, no zombies should be able to get past us without them seeing. And then we'll move some units up here. Move our soldier across a little bit. What we're trying to do is find areas like this. Because zombies can't swim. And they can't climb down cliffs. They can't climb around trees. So... Obviously, I'm not playing at normal top speed or anything. I'm not trying to get underway really quickly. I'm obviously trying to explain the game a little bit as I play it. So if we go down here, we can obviously see all the way around. There's a crow. But we can see all the way around. We can zoom in like this so you can actually see the uh, wonderful graphics. That's it. It's very simplistic, but it works. I quite like the steampunk aesthetic and the cell shading. So I'll move up here. Okay, we, we have a bit of a gap here. So what I'm going to do is have these guys automatically patrol Let's go. backwards and forwards. Just like this, just so we close that gap in the middle. Here's some, um, not iron, but stone. I keep thinking it's iron because of the color. Okay, so we've got those units moving. We've explored a little bit. Now we need to start off getting a, a civilization going. So, I think we can build four tents so far. That houses four colonists, two workers, generates an income of eight gold. So I'll wait for that to build, but they also need food. So we should get a, a hunter's hut. But that's out of the range of where we can build. So I'll get it as close as I can to those trees. Actually, no, I won't. 
I will expand this way for I want to get alongside those trees to have some wood as soon as we can. So I'm just going to put what's the best we can get? 11? I think the best we can get out of this area is 11 with that hunter's hut, so we'll do that. We also have a fishing hut here, so we'll go for 13. 13 again. Can't quite reach that one, so no extra food for us just now. And then as soon as this Tesla tower has finished creating, it will allow us to expand in a small circle this way. So now, we can in fact get our wood mill going. We'll try and get the most. Seems to be about 13. Unfortunately, you can't build them right next to each other. But if we were to go down about here, we could probably get away with putting another one further down. Actually, speaking of further down, is there a way through here? Yes, there is. So we need to be aware of that. We've got some iron over here. Ooh. Over here, we've got a radar tower we could repair. Rather than building one, we could try and capture this. But again, right now, I think I would rather just cover this area so no zombies get up that way. I'm going to set her on a patrol because we have a gap here. Something's down here where zombies might come up. So I want to cover, again, all possibilities. No zombies could come this way, so that's all good. We haven't quite got enough wood yet to make a quarry, but we need to get on with that. We do have some good supplies of iron around here. Stone, sorry. Iron's actually the grey one, so we want to come this way and this way for some iron. Looks like there's a little bit hiding down there as well. So yes, guys, at the moment, nothing exciting. Just the early, early stages of getting underway. So in the interest of time, I'll keep cutting ahead a little bit after we've got underway. And, you know, explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, all that kind of good stuff. At the moment, no real need to build any walls. If we're doing the shortest gameplay time, we'd be getting swarmed uh, quicker. I mean, we haven't even seen a single zombie yet. And there's some other stuff that I can't really show you because we can't get to it yet. Uh, there's a mill. We could get that built. That gives us some wind power. Some energy. So we have our colonists here. Four tents, 16 colonists, two hunter cottages, and two uh, fishermen cottages. So our workers, our food production, energy production, and obviously all these are resources. My voice is going, so let me take a quick break and we'll cut back later on in the video. I'm going to try and not make it too long, guys, but if you want to see a full playthrough, join me for a stream sometime, because I'm probably going to do some streaming of the game. And if you want to see like a full playthrough in like one long video, when my voice is back, let me know, because I would definitely do it if there was interest. Well, guys, further sit rep. We uh, lost the round because the game, while being in early access, does have a few problems every now and again. Uh, when I sent some units to go uh, stop a, a zombie uh, outbreak, they decided to just stand around. Just stand around and look at it while the zombies ran around. So you really have to keep an eye on your units just in case they decide to get stuck or fail to pathfind and just stand there after being given an order doing jack shit. So, keep an eye on them, just in case they do something wrong. So, again, I'm going to cut further into the future using the power of editing with a game that's underway so we can carry on from where we were originally up to. We will we will get there in the end. We will. All right, guys. Welcome back. My, uh, my voice is still uh, kind of croaky, but uh, I do have the added bonus of apparently being able to sound a little bit like Bane of Batman. It's a very productive sit you have. Shame if I was to bring a bum. So anyway guys, we are on day 94. Only a few more days left now to day 120, where we fi find the final onslaught attacking us. I've used some of the titans, the mech suited guys, to clear all the, um, I guess, I guess you describe it as already spawned zombies, rather than these big waves. So I've got a big wave coming in from the south now. And uh, tighten here to try and keep them busy, some spikes to slow them down. Basically spammed walls. Obviously I've got my turrets and stuff. Um, personally, I find this almost to be the best strat. Obviously walls, uh, brick walls are obviously the best to slow down the zombies, the stone walls, sorry. And then I find if you use a shocking tower, not only do they destroy 
a large amount of zombies in one go. It also has a kind of a pushback effect. So if you put these in front of any of the executors, it helps them uh, do a lot more damage, I would say. Sorry guys, I'm still not completely with it, as you can hear in my voice. But uh, trying to still bring you some content, and I am enjoying the game. So let me show you what else is going on with the city. I've got a bunch of farms going because my populace is pretty large now. Uh, about 3,500. I'm only just covering the food production. Uh, we have plus 11 on wood. Actually, I had to expand up here a little bit just to get access to more wood for all the power plants I'm having to use. So as you can see it again, lots and lots and lots of fortifications, lots and lots of turrets using a ton of energy. Bunch of snipers. I have built the lightning spire. I think I've built everything other than one final... Uh, what is the final one? Uh, one final specialist building, I think. Where is it? Not sure where it's gone now. Maybe I haven't researched it? <clears throat> ah, no, here it is. The Atlas Transmuter. I could make it for the victory points, but it would mean I'd be on minus supplies for wood. Um, we'll see, because I think there's an achievement for making all six of the specialist buildings at the end. So we'll see. It is extra victory points after all. So yeah, anything else worth mentioning? No, it's basically the same case everywhere now. I've blocked all the main points of congestion and multiple walls. I've got some tight. These are the guys that were clearing out the map, by the way. These titans are just down here. I believe that I'd started out with six of them, and then there was five by the time they'd finished clearing the map. So they do do a very good job. And you should always clear the map where possible. Uh, my weakest points are probably areas like this, where I've not actually been able to get that far. Uh, we had trouble at the north, so I've expanded out a little bit here. Even more walls! And then a final point with a mech, and there's also this guy here, Thanatos. He's very good because he has an RPG, which also has a nice knockback effect. So let's see how we fare with this southern attack. So the titan's helping destroy the zombies there. The turret is working, it's magic. We're probably going to lose that titan. But I'm fine with that, because it all slows the zombies down, which is what we want. Yeah, we're probably going to lose that guy. But he is helping delay the zombies. The other one's kited some across. I'm going to try moving him out of the fray a little bit. Yeah, we're going to lose that one, I think, unfortunately. One fallen soldier. But he's helped do his job. He's kept the zombies busy. Yeah, no problem. And now we've got some small mini waves coming from all angles. They won't do anything. But they do have to watch out for the jumping zombies. Because they will jump over the walls. They are trying to break through. Well, that went reasonably well. Would have been nice to have not lost the Titan. But what I'm going to do now is spam even more walls than there was before. A few more slow traps down. That'll do. I may have to build a new Titan now. That's the only thing. In fact, let's do that now. We'll build a new Titan. Since we're doing we're doing pretty well for all resources right now. But obviously eventually money does start to become less and less. Uh, here's my other units I wanted for these towers over here. So put... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Where's, where's he gone? There he is. You go in that one. Do you need me? And then you go in that one. I'm pretty much happy with the amount of soldiers I have, so I'm going to pop this down now. 
we'll get some new titans. I'm very tempted to build the final... The final epic building. Once I don't lose track of my foundry. How much space does that take up? Oh no, we're researching it. Never mind. That's why I couldn't find it to build. <laughs> okay, we'll see if my voice lasts out till the final wave. I don't think there's much else to describe. That's one of the other epic buildings. The Academy of Mortals. That makes all my units veteran. Which is very good. We're going to lose oil supply though once we build that final building. So we should get our units built first. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it to be honest. This is the only problem when you start blocking off a lot of places. You run out of building space. I might expand up here slightly and just pop it there. I think I might be able to get away with that. There doesn't seem to have been any zombies that have come from this direction. But that could all change. Alright. So let's get... One titan. We just haven't got enough oil. Again, could branch out a little bit here and then grab that oil reserve. Possibly even that one. That one. That's a bit further away, a bit more expensive. Attention. Building completed. Excellent. So we're not far off researching that building. Okay, which one of these oil platforms is closest to... Damn, that warehouse that boosts production. Just missing that one. Given how strongly we get attacked from that direction, I don't think it's worth building it. But I think we might need it to build the... To build that main building, but we'll see. Okay, can you make your way down okay, here? Hello. And then I'll fence him in this time. Have we nearly researched that building? Where's the foundry? I keep losing the foundry. It just all blends in. There's the foundry. Working away. Right, I think I, think I will go for that oil. So I'll put those Tesla Towers down there. Oh, is he deciding to walk all the way? I was going to say, you can't get around that way, mate. <laughs> That's not going to happen. We can't build bridges yet. So I'll get the oil platform down. I might be able to squeeze in a... Warehouse here. What have we got? 19 workers left. Food resources getting pretty low. Could probably mine that gold while we're there as well, actually, thinking about it. Ah, we'll just go for the hundred. I'm gonna need some more workers. Pop that down there. We are very, very, very close to having no food. <laughs> Hundred and four, there we go. <laughs> Just gotta try and keep those guys alive now because they are they are open to attack. So I think if we Yeah, we're gonna struggle to finish walling that off. As soon as we've got the workers. Excellent, that's more money for us. We're keeping a thousand pounds. Our gold. Building completed. Workers five. Yeah, I should build a couple more buildings so I can build some defenses. We need oh wow, we need a lot more workers if we want to build that Atlas Transmutator. So yeah, that'll take away a wood supply, stone supply, some iron supply. But we are really good for iron. And really good, really good for stone. So yeah, I think we should do it. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna spam some walls here. All helps with slowing zombies down, so while it's not neat, it's not tidy, it doesn't look particularly great, it does work. By all means, guys, don't take this as, like, the best solution. It's just a solution that I've found that works for me. I know there's probably some people that have played the game an awful lot that are like, Oh, what are you doing? That's, like, the worst thing to do. But like I say, it seems to work out just fine for me. We'll have some more money coming in now as well. Speaking of money, if I'm going to put those buildings there... It might be worth investing in a bank. Oh, I can't make any more banks. I think it's restricted to two maximum, I believe. I could be wrong. But anyway, once we've got this uh, specialist building made, I will then skip ahead to the final battle, guys. So we go, we go down in history. There's been the town, hopefully, that survives the final zombie wave. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on. We just have to make sure that our main, main building survives. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Okay, I'm going to delete that now to save on some energy. And I think I will... Oh yeah, I'm going to have to uh, produce more food. Still. Have we got enough? Yeah, now we just need to, we need to relax on the building. And let everything build back up again. And then we'll be able to build that building. So we'll gain voltage to the oil, which is nice. But at this point, we're going to have negative wood production. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... It could cause problems when we want to uh, repair buildings later on. But we'll see. <clears throat> One weird thing I've noticed in the game is you can't delete your uh, research buildings. It would be nice after you've researched things and unlocked them that you could get rid of this. Because that's a big bit of real estate that I could be putting houses down on. And it's the same for the stone building as well. Even though there's absolutely nothing left to research. I could be saving 40 gold, 20 workers, 20 electric energy. So yeah, it's a shame you can't actually get rid of those. When you can destroy the market, it seems... Reasonable to get rid of those, I guess. What's that? The inn. That took away all our wood supply, and then we won't be able to build the uh, Atlas Transmutator. I suppose I could expand down into that forest. Am I going to have time? I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. Oof. Tricky. We might have just enough time. I'm going to risk it. It's a shame these don't pass through uh, trees. And then we'll block off this section here best we can. The zombies are probably... The ones that spawn off are probably going to come straight down this way anyway. But, obviously, I don't really want a weak point where they can multiply. Because I don't know if I've mentioned at any other point in the video, guys, because I've had to record this over several days with not being well. But if one zombie gets to a building, that's two zombies that could be created by them breaking just that building. If they get into something like this, that's 60 zombies that could all spawn from one that breaks into that building. And it only takes them three or four seconds, depending on the building type, to break it and then more zombies pour out. So you can go from having one zombie that finds a way into your base to suddenly having dozens, even hundreds. So I don't really want to add fuel to the flame where I can. But like I say, we're not we're not going to have a lot of choice. I should have enough power to be able to put a few turrets and stuff at the top. Might as well start doing that now actually because we don't know when we're going to get overrun. Then, of course, as always, 
walls. Attention. Building completed. Probably just need one more tower to get down into the woods. The gold's looking tempting, but it's really not worth it at this point. So yeah, I think we've got a very good defense going on right now. There are a couple of weak points down here that hopefully I'll be able to build better for. Just waiting on these towers to build. I want to get right down in the bottom there. Alright, let's get straight on with some wood production. I'm going to go here, because obviously you can't build these too close to each other. So rather than getting 12, I'll try and get 8 and 8. Possibly. Possibly 11 if I'm allowed to build there. Or 13 if I'm allowed to build there. Attention. Building completed. Damn, could have had wood 17 there, but then I won't be able to build anywhere else. So yeah, we'll go 13. That covers us quite nicely. And screw it, I'm going to throw down a market, uh, a uh, warehouse there as well to boost production. Attention. Ah, now we're low on energy. There you go, have a couple of wind farms. Right, come on. We need to quickly block off the rest of this area. Building completed. It's a bit awkward. I can't fit that in there now. Ah, that'll work. Yeah, this is not going to be a great defense, but it's going to be something. It's definitely going to be something. I just hope nothing comes from the east, actually. East has tended to all spawn down here. They could spawn at the top, though, and then we'll, we'll get mentally damaged over here. Oh my god! A huge swarm oh god, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. We never built the transmutator. Screw it. I want that. I want that achievement. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not got the food for it. I don't know if that's going to be enough workers or not. No, not quite. Well, we'll have to do it another time. Right now, it's more important that we get some defenses going. This is going to be a tough one. Not sure how many of these I can get where we're building. Yeah, we're out of workers now. That's it. That's it. Here we go, boys, get ready. Probably gonna lose some FPS. Oh, I never got to build anything over here. Oof. I've got the energy, just not the workers. Squeeze a house in somewhere. Oh, can't afford to anymore. Oh god, here we go. At least we've cleared out all the extra zombies. Oh god, look at the map. Oh god, look at the map. There's the jumping zombies. These little ginger guys. Oh god, this bit's gonna get overrun.
Yeah, we lost that wood production builder. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Just hold that line. Okay, that western side is secure. We've lost a Titan. This bit's nearly secure. This section's looking dangerous. Spitters are taking their toll. None of them came that way after all that. Oh, this isn't looking good up here. Yeah, they're going to get in here. We're going to lose a few people. It's those spitters. They have good range. When he gets closer, they'll, they'll get rid of him. So good job I put these extra turrets down over here. Oh. Hopefully they'll destroy too many energy turrets. Energy turrets? Energy buildings. Oof. We definitely lost a few uh, civilians, but we managed to survive the big final wave. So some straggler zombies at the bottom now. We'll put him in search and destroy mode. He'll automatically go sort them out. <laughs> Rather than waiting for them to slowly wander up, we'll get rid of him. Well, there you go, guys. I've been Turbo, I've been Unwell, but I still brought you some of that juicy, juicy content. Um, again, guys, if you want to see me do like a full playthrough with no cuts, uh, you know, do a couple streams or anything about, uh, for the game, do let me know, because I'd certainly be down for that. And there we go. All done. Let's see what our final score was. So, score factor 22%, 5,263. We killed 12,000 infective, we lost 26 soldiers, lost 569 colonists. Not ideal, but that is a that is a pass. That is still a pass. But I'd rather try to lose no colonists, if possible. But there you go. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you didn't know what to do, if you wanted to see more. Thanks for watching again, and see you in the next one. Who's the only person not subscribed to Tepper Gaming UK? Only me. You see, it's a lot easier if you subscribe. Ring the notification bell too.